30 years in the future. We are fighting a war. Our enemy is not human, and we are losing. We need you to fight. I will be back, and I love you, Chippy. Seven days from now, when you're sent into that war, you won't be fighting for your country. You'll be fighting for the world. Is it all right? Yeah. Going to war. Stop talking. Listen. Sorry, I, I mean, when I'm nervous, I talk. I'm like 90, 97 on the nervous scale. That should be fun. Congratulations on this film, The Tomorrow War. Let me tell you, it was absolutely beautiful, amazing. I felt that it should actually be in theaters, but we can all watch it at home. <laughs> I'm doing amazing, and thank you so much um, for just watching and supporting. And, um, you know, we do what we can with the with this pandemic. I'm just grateful that it's coming out. And of course, I would love for it to be in theaters so people can see it like, you know, in, in like grand, on the grand scale. But I'm also happy that Amazon Prime Video picked it up. And, and I think it's gonna be more accessible now because people will be able to see it in home. So I'm excited about that. Yeah, so let's dive into your character. You're actually like Lieutenant Hart. You know, you're coming in automatically like, we need you guys to help us. Like, put yourself in Dan's position um, mm -hmm. as his. Would you be able to go out there and fight those aliens to save your <laughs> the way he had to? Um, to save my family, yes. Mm -hmm. To save me, I'd probably go run and hide somewhere because I really don't care. <laughs> um, but uh, you know, the the one of the biggest things for me because you're getting introduced to Lieutenant Hart in the middle of her story was right. to carry, you know, the war that she had just been through. The fact that she is one of the first people ever to to time travel, and it actually worked. Um, and the fact that she is now separated from the loved ones in the future, like it was important for me to bring all of that into this and to carry that weight and the responsibility of delivering this message. Um, and to be honest, she definitely had a fear of, of what if they don't, you know, hear and understand the gravity of the situation. Um, and I think there was also a little bit of like, why me? Why was I the one sent to do this? Why not send somebody else, girl? Um, yeah, but but that was a really um, pivotal point, I think, for me as an actor. You know, it was one of the first scenes that we shot uh, and is my first movie. So being able to command the stage uh, yeah. as, as the first scene, it, it, it really let me know, all right, I can do this, I belong here. Yeah, it was truly powerful though to see you just come out and be like, we need y'all. Get over okay. here. You know, me, yeah. I like, no, I would be just like, pick somebody else. I don't <laughs> look scary. And honestly, watching it, I felt like I was watching one of those like virtual like virtual reality games. Like that's mm. what it was. So imagine if this was like in 3D and those things are coming at you. I oh, probably girl. ran. <laughs> you and me both. Cause I was watching it at home and I had to turn the lights <laughs> on. I was getting a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you guys did an amazing job. Um, talk about it, you know, filming, I believe you guys filmed it during the pandemic and everything. So how did that uh, work out for you guys? You know, we actually filmed uh, pre-pandemic. So it was late um, 2019, which okay. which was, was great. And, you know, had we have known the pandemic that, that was coming up, um, <laughs> There's so many parallels that you can grasp from this movie that are directly tied to the pandemic and the lengths one would go to sort of save the world. I mean, you know, we talk about like, what would you have done in, in this situation? Mm -hmm. And I ask people like, what did you do during the, pan the pandemic? Were you selfless? Did you stay at home? Did you social distance? Did you wear your mask? Did you, did you do your part in helping, you know, uh, create a, a more virus-free world? your favorite part um your favorite moments you know while filming on set like what are some fun stories you can remember with the cast um honestly i just remember laughing so much in between takes that that my cheeks were hurting uh because <laughs> sam is as hilarious off camera as he is on camera um and edwin has this laugh that is <laughs> <laughs> it's just infectious and loud and very unique. So you could hear him laugh from like 
50 feet away and it would just bring you so much joy. Um, I think the, the, the best moments were just when we were all chilling in between camera setups and just talking and, and, and getting to know each other. Um, Cause we really bonded as a cast. Uh, I think some of my favorite moments filming, definitely that ending scene, uh, mm -hmm. you know, just being able to like release all of this like frustration and anger that the character was feeling that I was feeling as the actor, because, you know, the days were long, you know, you're working 15, 16 hour days um, sure. and you're carrying like 10 pounds of gear on you. It, it gets exhausting. And to be able to unapologetically release that emotion on camera at like a 10 was so enjoyable, <laughs> so cathartic. <laughs> yeah, so that's great. How did you, like after you finish, you know, the entire film and everything, how did you like, you know, relax yourself and self-care mm -hmm. after um, shooting the scene? Yeah, what, what did I do? I definitely went to the chiropractor. <laughs> my car my car practice was like what have you been doing <laughs> um, um i think you know what one of my favorite places ever is sedona arizona and uh particularly there's a spa called spa called miyamo and i went there for a couple of days afterwards and just sort of like rejuvenated um myself and got centered again and uh said goodbye to lieutenant hart because she was with me for a good two and a half months um, mm -hmm. So that's definitely something that I did, but it, it was important for me to honor her and, and what I took away from her as a person because she really gave me permission to be um, unapologetic in, 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 you know, confidence and in power. Um, and in vulnerability, she was so she she wore her heart on her sleeve, even though she was this badass, you know, she wasn't afraid to feel and it did not take away from um, the leader that she was. So I had to give honor to that and to her because I sort of just kind of blossomed, I think, after that into um, just a different version of me, you know, which I which I appreciate. Did you have fun being yourself or lived in the heart after, you, after the cameras went off? Oh yeah, girl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I surely, surely did. Cause she, she was going through some heavy stuff, you know? So I was glad to put that down and just enjoy life again. Cause we only see her smile one time in the film, huh? once. And I was, trust me, I was looking for a reason to smile in that, mm -hmm. but I couldn't find one. And that just wasn't the world she was living in. Right, right. Yeah. And, and it, it lets you know about like soldiers who actually go over into war and how they come back, you know, yeah. and physically and mentally, you know, drain abuse and all of that stuff. So once again, I want to say kudos to this movie. It was once again, like I said, phenomenal. I wish we could see it in theaters, but everybody can watch it in the comfort of their home. That's right. Get some speakers so they can feel like we are, we're there. Yeah, you know? that's right. Yep. July 2nd, Amazon Prime Video. <laughs> One last thing, what is a what is something that you would like people to know about you that they don't know? Ooh, um, good question. Um, that they don't know. Um uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why that just popped into my head when I was little. They used to call me Lil Beyonce um, because I would like put on <laughs> music videos of my own. And I think to this day, I think I remember choreography from 75% of her videos when I was younger. So at any given point, I can break out into a Beyonce song and dance. Awesome. I think we'll be best friends. Yeah, okay, please. Really can <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jasmine. Once again, this movie was amazing and enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much. You too. Thank you for your support. <laughs>